counting on prayers and medical miracles, a Mount Hope family is doing all it can to support a little boy and his sister after they were severely burned in a fire that killed the brother. And for the first time, their aunt spoke only to 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina. Steve, a breakthrough of sorts for that little girl. They're, of course, treasuring all these flowers and balloons and candles out here in front of the house. But what really excited them is what has gone on at the hospital. Both the kids are in the ICU under uh, in medically induced comas. Well, Esme is a huge Taylor Swift fan, so they started playing her tunes in the ICU and saw her wiggling her toes in time to the music. They were thrilled. This one's the one we're going to frame, right? Yeah. Angelina Marquez and Maria Asara are going through family photos that survived the fire last Monday in Mount Hope. These pictures are they're fine. You know, there's some that these just great. They're planning to put together a collage of the good times they had before the raging fire that destroyed their sister's home and killed 12-year-old Fernando Nano Castro. It's hard. He was a, a kid with autism, so Unfortunately, he was our favorite. It, I know it sounds pretty bad, but when you have a child, people who have autistic children, they understand that they're special. They are different, you know, and he, now that he's gone, it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It will be a long and painful recovery for five-year-old Luis Jr. and three-year-old Esmeralda. Nano's brother and sister are hospitalized in stable but critical condition. Their mom is constantly at their side. She's being optimistic. She's, she's, she knows she looks at the little ones and says they're little fighters. They got out of there. She, they're going to be fine. A fundraiser was held over the weekend to help raise money for the Nunez Castro family. A GoFundMe page was created, and there have been many donations of clothes and other items. They are very appreciative. And a memorial service for Nano is planned December 19th at the Jacobs Center. There will also be some activities to boost awareness about autism and fire dangers. Live in Mount Hope, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.